Let me introduce you to Javan Pied Mina, also known as Javan Pied Starling. They are endemic birds in Java and Bali in Indonesia. Some also inhabit Sumatra, but they are not endemic bird to Sumatra. In the 1980s, these birds were very easy to find in Java and Bali, both in rural and urban areas. However, since then, their population has continued to decline. And now, they can't longer be found in the wild. In 2016, the birds were classified in the critically endangered category on the IUCN Red List. Yes, these birds have not wholly disappeared from the face of the earth. The case that happened to Javan Pied Starling is unique and exciting to explore. Cases like this can be said to be rare in bird conservation. It's the aviary! The Javan Pied Starling is a bird that is widely bred. Irfan and his team also had the opportunity to bring in a pair of Javan Pied Starlings and release them at De Hakim's aviary. Coincidentally, Irfan invited his close friends during the release of Javan Pied Starling. Kong Pio, please explain about this bird. It is Javan Pied Starling. Do they come from Java? Yes, they come from Java. Then, they are extinct. They are no longer exist in the nature. No, but there are a lot of them in the breeders. Their number is around thousands. Are they a pair? Yes, they're a pair. By the way, what is the difference between male and female birds? The difference can be seen in the orange color around the eyes. The orange color in males is lighter, while it is slightly faded in females. All right, let's release them. Get ready, guys. One, two, three. Bravo. 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 The Javan Pied Starling or Grecupica Jala is a bird that belongs to the Sternity family. Previously, they were grouped into members of the Pied Mina subspecies. However, in its development, the Pied Mina is divided into three species. Indian Pied Mina or Asian Pied Starling, Siamese Pied Mina or Siamese Pied Starling, and Javan Pied Starling. Javan Pied Starling is a bird that lives in the lowlands. They are also often found living on agricultural lands and human settlements. So, the cause of the decline in their population can be ascertained as not because of deforestation. They can survive despite the shrinkage of forest land. So, what caused the extinction of the Javan Pied Starling in the wild? Two researchers. Bas Van Balen from the organization Basilornis Consults the Nigel Collar from BirdLife International have the answer. Based on their research published in 2021, there are two possible causes for the declining population of these birds in the wild. First, the excessive use of pesticides on agricultural land contaminates the fruit and insects, which are the food for the Javan Pied Starling. What's more, pesticides can kill insects. As a result of the insects dying, Javan Pied Starling lacks food sources. Then the second reason is because of the hunt for Javan Pied Starling to be traded. Yes, they are popular pet birds in Indonesia. There are various reasons why people keep these birds. From just having a hobby to lure other birds into singing, and to including them in chirping contests, to guarding the house. Javan Pied Starlings like to chirp very loudly when they see a stranger entering their owner's house. Therefore, 
The situation that surrounds Javan Pied Starling is unique. Just imagine, Javan Pied Starling has become extinct in the wild, but they are widely traded legally in the bird market. It's a very unfunny irony. As Collar put it, for a species with a high tolerance of disturbed habitats, especially agricultural areas, and which used to be found in large roosts inside city limits, the current situation is truly extraordinary. Here is a bird that is extinct in the wild but which you can find quite easily in bird shops and people's homes. There is no other case like this on Earth. From survey data conducted by Vincent Neyman and his team, 24,358 Java and Pied Starlings traded in 25 markets in Java and Bali over six years, from April 2014 to March 2020. Around 40% of the birds are sold out on the market in the first week. Based on these figures, Neyman and his team estimated that at least 80,000 Java and Pied Starlings were sold in all bird markets in Java and Bali for a total value of 5.2 million US dollars. Most of the birds sold in the market come from captivity on the island of Java, with the most extensive captive breeding in Klaten and Wirikari, where 1,031 breeders produce 20,426 Java and Pied Starlings. The birds are then sold at varying prices, depending on their age, sex, size, singing and breeding abilities. So, what should we do to change this situation? Is it enough to urge bird lovers to stop keeping the Java and Pied Starling? Unfortunately, that alone will not be enough. Keeping birds has become a part of the culture of the Indonesian people. And don't forget, the Java and Pied Starling can also imitate other birds' sounds. That causes them to be favored by hobbyists who often enter their pet birds in bird chirping contests. Yes, for those of you who don't know, such competitions are very popular in Indonesia. This condition is further exacerbated by the absence of protection for Java and Pied Starling. These birds were included in the list of birds protected by the Indonesian government in 2018. However, the law didn't last long. A lot of pressure from traders, breeders, and hobbyists forced the authorities to remove the Java and Pied Starling from the list of protected species. And it happened still in the same year, 2018. Therefore, just an appeal is not enough. Protection against Java and Pied Starling should be further strengthened. We need laws that regulate, or even prohibit, the trade in these birds. Nature conservation and captive breeding of Java and Pied Starlings to be released into the wild in a sustainable manner must also be carried out on a larger scale.